All right, here we are in the sixth and final unit of the Math 245 course, looking at correlation and regression. So this is a shorter unit and doesn't necessarily rely on a lot of the previous units, but uh, is a nice thing to put at the end so we can kind of give ourselves a chance to catch up and not have a, a project that goes up until the very end of the class. Um, so don't expect a lot of continuity with some of the stuff we've seen before, but there is a hypothesis test and then there's some other stuff that we'll see uh, overlaps or is similar to. Uh, so here with the purpose, many students often espouse to have evidence that one variable is causing another. This is often based on the grounds that changes in the two quantities are correlated or related to an approximately linear mathematical relationship. While jumping from correlation to causation is a fallacy of logic, we can often learn a lot from correlation and should know when and how it is justified. Given paired data sets, we can try to find a pattern and use technology to pinpoint that relationship. From these relationships, we can better understand the world around us. So even though you don't need necessarily the content from Unit 5 to do this, uh, it is important to have done that first. Um, and Unit 5 does refresh you on the idea of hypothesis testing, which is covered here. So um, just some basic questions here on hypothesis tests uh, to do very early on. Um, and then what do we do? We'll be looking at scatter plots, we're we'll looking at the least squares regression line, and we're looking at the correlation coefficient, and then a hypothesis test for correlation. So correlation, regression, um, least squares regression, um, we're also going to see this is called the line of best fit or the trend line. These are all kind of the same things, and that is that we have a bunch of data and we look at it as a bunch of uh, points on a graph that's called a scatter plot. Um, here's an example here. And then we try to find the best line that will go through it. And we'll just be looking at straight lines, but this does extend to curve lines if you take the next step in this study. Um, so we show how to get the scatter plot here on Excel, um, and then how to get the trend line. Excel calls it a trend line, but we're also calling it a regression line or line of best fit. Um, and you just check those box that says display equation, it'll give you that equation. Uh, it'll also give you the R squared value, um, where R is the coefficient of correlation, or the correlation coefficient, and R squared is the coefficient of determination. And sometimes you'll see it be capital R, sometimes lowercase r, um, you'll see a little bit of mix. So Excel does it with capital R, a lot of the books do it with lowercase r, uh, and of course these are the same R, this is R squared, and so you could square that to get that. I right, definitely don't want to use this formula, just uh, putting that up there for your own reference. Um, you can get the correlation coefficient directly with Excel using the Corel function, and you can then square that to get the coefficient of determination. Uh, also, when you're going through this process, you can display the R squared value and get that directly from that. Uh, there's a hypothesis test for this, and uh, we have a new Greek letter, Greek letter rho, for the population correlation coefficient. To determine that from the sample correlation coefficient. Um, and we'll go through that. We have a test statistic and we have uh, standard hypotheses. Right? So, um, you know, with these correlation coefficients, they're numbers between 0 and 1. And the closer they are to uh, 0, the more noise and randomness you have. And the closer they are to 1, uh, the better of a fit it is. In fact, if, if it's equal to 1, if r is equal to 1, then the, all the points are exactly on a straight line. So it's a perfect fit. If r is equal to 0, the points are all over the place and it's not a good fit at all. Uh, and of course, then it's somewhere in between. So how close do you need to get? Um, well, that's determined by the test. So we've got a reading for Unit 6. Um, you can click here to get to the ebook that is interactive. Um, you can also just download the PDF. We're reading from Chapter 12 of the Elementary Statistics OpenStax book. Um, now, Introductory Statistics, sorry. Introductory Statistics OpenStax book. Uh, and so we have video for the authors on Chapter 12. There's video on just getting scatter plots and doing correlation. And then there's video for me on how to do this hypothesis test for correlation. Um, the resulting spreadsheets will be here, so I've got the one for regression, there'll be a hypothesis testing sheet here soon. Uh, your Q&A forum for Unit 6, your practice problem set, right? 
Uh, so this is again what I was talking about, where if the points are a lot along a straight line, that's going to be a greater value. So maybe that goes along the C, a correlation coefficient of 0.81. Uh, whereas if they're kind of all over the place, um, oops, that should be negative. That's D. Uh, the sine of R, so R is actually a sine value, and so it will go as the sine of the slope. So you see how this line would have a negative slope, so it's going to have a negative R value. Uh, this line would have a positive slope, so that would be a C with a positive R value. Remember, R squared is always positive, so it doesn't tell you that sign when you take the square root, so you got to be a little careful with that. So the closer you are to 1 or negative 1, the more you have this straight line pattern, and the closer you are to 0, the more you have this randomness here. Um, again, that looks like a straight line or positive slope line, so that would be um, B, and then this is a negative slope line, so that would be uh, so we've got nine questions here, um, starting with some basic stuff there, and then going up to uh, an actual hypothesis test here. Uh, then we have our last critical thinking assignment for the semester. Uh, we only have six problems, um, so. Uh, including one where you have to go out and find a situation where there is a correlation but no causation. Uh, so make sure you include a picture there. Um, and if you end up having to uh, do that in the corrections, make sure you pick something different from everybody else. Uh, and then there's no project. The project was done in Unit 5, but we do have a final exam, uh, the practice exam, very similar to the final exam, so make sure you get the grade you need on that first. Then take the final exam, and then before you leave this semester, take the self-reflection to reflect back on the past semester. And that will wrap up this course. Uh, you know, there is an additional unit um, down here at the bottom, on goodness of fit tests, uh, that was originally in the class but was cut out to make way for the uh, two-sample hypothesis testing. So uh, it's there in case you need that for a future class. All right, well, it's last orientation video, so... I will say goodbye and thank you for watching.